Good morning today. I have a big challenge. I am going to take a lot of food out of my freezer that is above my refrigerator. This freezer is so packed full that I actually had to use a flex day to keep the freezer door from coming open. I'm going to go through all of that food and I'm going to defrost any ground beef. I'm going to make that into my pineapple meatballs that is our favorite and I'm just going to organize all of this food. I am not looking forward in doing this because it's a lot of work, but it's got to get done. So I have two refrigerators, which I am very blessed. I have a refrigerator in the out porch, and then I have a really small chest freezer. So in essence, I have three small freezers, three of them. They're all really, really full. So the challenge is today is to clean this freezer out, get all the food together, organize it, and then the challenge will be in the following weeks to do the other freezers. All right, everyone, here we go. We're going to open up the freezer. Gonna go through it. All the food, most of the food is good. So it's good food. I just gotta organize it and throw it out and make something with the food. Here we go. See you guys in just a little bit. Okay, that was really quick now, wasn't it? <laughs> With the uh, magic of the camera, it works really quick. So I have all these little bits of ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this bowl so they can defrost. And then I'm going to make my Hawaiian meatballs, but I'm gonna make it into a meatloaf. It's so much easier that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this together. And then tomorrow, you'll see me and I'll mix up the meatloaf. I'm making TV dinners. I have already have the mashed potatoes made from today and a lot of extra ones. So we are just going to make the TV dinners and put them all together. All right, the only thing I had no idea what was, was this. I have no idea what's in here. Absolutely no idea. So I gotta open this up and find out what's in here. All right, it is onions. So we are going to take some of the onions out of here and put them in with the meatloaf. All right, let me get all of it together. All right, so here's all the ground beef. I have to go ahead and thaw this and then we will make some meatloaf TV dinners. And that is so nice to have when I'm busy filming and editing all I have to do is pop out of the freezer one of my TV dinners, all natural, low sodium, and no preservatives. And that's the way that you can really have great, fast, convenient food, TV dinners, but you make them ahead of time and do all the prep work first. All right, we'll see you guys in just a little bit when this is thawed up and I make all of my amazing pineapple meatloaf. Now we're gonna make the meatloaf and it's really simple. I'm gonna share with you the recipe down in my description box, but it's three pounds of ground beef, three eggs, one cup of brown sugar, and one cup of breadcrumbs, and a half a can of crushed pineapples. For meatballs, I'm actually making meatloaf with it to make the TV dinners complete. So all we're gonna do is mix everything up. I have three pounds of ground beef in each bowl. A smaller loaf pan so I think it's gonna make four of these size we'll have to see the recipe I'm going to give you is for just a single recipe that's in the description box below but you can easily double it or quadruple it however you wish and this is gonna make a lot, I can tell you that already. Which is perfect because I want to make a lot. Oh. 
All right, so we have mashed potatoes in each one. I made the potatoes ahead of time. And now we're gonna put the gravy in. We're just gonna make a little bit of room here for the gravy. Now these meals look fairly small, but believe it or not, it is a lot of food. One of these feeds my hubby and I very comfortably. All right, so we have that done. The meatloaf is soon finished. We're gonna add mixed vegetables. All right, we don't want too much butter at all, so we're just gonna put a little bit on each one. Now I am not seasoning it because we will season them at the table. All right, so we have six meals. I have a lot more meatloaf than that, but we're gonna do the six meals for now. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get the meat out. All right, so now we're gonna take the meatloaf Well, there you go, everyone, how you can take food out of the freezer and make it into something that is a spectacular meal that doesn't cost hardly any money at all. Finding stuff in your freezer and creating meals. And I'm going to read to you a little bit, an excerpt from this book, and it is Homemade, How to Make Hundreds of Everyday Items. Have you ever noticed how prepared food sections are taking up more and more of your supermarket? That's because we are quickly becoming a nation addicted to ready-made dishes and the supermarket is only responding to the demand. The only problem is that those eat as they are or pop in the microwave dishes carry an enormous price for the premium for the little extra convenience they provide. This chapter is dedicated to the true convenience foods that you can make fresh in your own home, in your own kitchen. Most make minimal demands of your time and many are foods that can make ahead leave or leave simmering in a slow cooker for a meal later. On the following pages, you will find tasty meats, eggs, and bean dishes, satisfying savory pies of the type that you might pick up at the deli counter. Homemade turkey pot pie is one we're gonna be doing sometime here really soon. There's a wide selection of all kinds of foods that you can make, TV dinners, without the sodium and without the cost.